What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of Diary of a Mad Sports Fan. This is Sean Stradamus, the sports genius formerly known as Sean Don. Coming to you Monday, January 23rd, 2012, uh, the day after the NFL playoffs uh, wrapped up and we figured out who's going to the Super Bowl. Also a day after Joe Paterno passed away. Um, rest in peace, Joe Pa. Also a day after we found out that this dude, Jay Cutler, and is having and expecting a baby from Kristen Cavallari uh, in nine months, I guess. I don't know how, how far along she is. This fool is crazy. Though. I swear, he, he, this dude just has no protection on or off the field, just like I said yesterday. It's like, dude is an idiot. Like, what are you doing, man? You're, having a kid, you're trying to be a white Kobe Bryant now? Watch, he's going to have a kid, get married, and then in three years, he's going to be fucked up. Yeah, I mean... I don't get it, dude. It's your life, though, so fuck you. I'm not even going to discuss that. Um, first thing I want to discuss is Joe Paterno. I want to say rest in peace, Joe Pa. You had a long life, a good career, a great career. I'm assuming a great life. It's never bad when you pass away and um, at 85 years old, surrounded by your kids or your grandkids. That's, that never sounds like a bad thing. I'm actually happy that he passed away because, A, he doesn't have to suffer from cancer anymore. Um, cause that's a bitch and B, he, um, doesn't have to suffer from watching people malign his character and besmirch his character and stuff like that. But C, the main reason why I'm, I'm happy that he passed away this, this weekend is because now all you stupid shit for brain people out there who are blaming him for this Sandusky case, you have to actually sit back and watch the evidence of this case unfold without Joe Paterno being physical, physically present and nobody can 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 dissuade your mind or whatever in, in, in that fact. And the reason why is because all of you assholes have slow memories. You forget what happened last week. So in, a, in the months and days to come, the days and months to come, as the case unfolds, you're going to forget about Paterno. And it's going to force you to not only see... What happened in 2002, you're going to see that Penn State University officials are the ones that are super bogus, but even more bogus than the Penn State University officials that allowed him to continue working there, the Super Bowl, you're going to figure out that that parent who found out that her kid took a shower with Sandusky in 1998 was the bitch, the super bogus. You found out your kid was in a shower with, with Sandusky, Sandusky admitted it to you, and you didn't dial 911? And have him locked up then. But no, Joe Paterno is supposed to do more for your kid. Because it's Joe Paterno. How the fuck is he supposed to do more for your kid than you? But that's the problem with the world. Everybody's fucking and having kids. But they want to pass off the responsibility of actually taking care of them. You want to say it's Joe Pa's job. It's your fucking kid. She's the one bogus. If, if All we know... Joe Paterno found out for the first time in 2002 that um, Sandusky was having sex with a kid from Mike McQuarrie. That's, that's what the evidence states. Well, 1998 happened before 2002. And if she dials 911, none of this ever happens. And guess what? If she sold out her kid, other parents sold out their kids too. Not every other parent, but there's a lot of parents out there that you don't know that actually know that their kid was being molested by Sandusky and didn't say shit. But you expect paternal to do more for, for, for your kid than you. I'm done talking about that bullshit. I'm going to talk about the NFL playoffs. I'm not even going to talk about the Giants and 49ers because I actually said that the Giants was going to beat the 49ers. I said they were going to beat them 20-17. to 17. I didn't know it was going to be an overtime. I said it was going to be 20 to 17, and Shannon Sharp said it was going to be 20 to 17. Yesterday on NFL Today, so I give him kudos too. I said they were going to win. I actually enjoyed that game a little more so, not just because I was right in the outcome of it, but it made my heart that much better to see Kenny Williams' son be the reason they lost. That, 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 that made my day. To see a Kenny Williams and a rotten, a rotten ass, something to do with the White Sox, be the reason why they fucking lost. So I'm not going to talk about the Giants and 49ers. I want to talk about the Ravens 
and Patriots game. I picked the Ravens to win that game, as everyone knows. And they lost, which made me wrong. It made me very, very upset because they should have won. And they would have won had John Harbaugh not completely dicked the game up. By coaching, he coached that whole game as if he was actually playing the game at home as opposed to on the road and, and as if he had the lead as opposed to losing. Which he was on the road and losing just about the whole fucking game. Case in point, the end of the first half. How do you go into halftime with two timeouts? You had three timeouts when you punted the ball to them. They took a knee to run the clock out. You called a timeout. They took another knee to run the clock out. You said, fuck it, let's go into halftime with two timeouts. Why not just call a timeout, make them either run a play or kneel the ball again and punt the ball to you? Any fucking thing could happen. They could have ran a play, you could have got a turnover. They could have kneeled the ball down and tried to punt it to you. Could have been a bad snap, could have been a block punt, could have been a punt return, could have punt for a touchdown, could have been a punt return and got back and, and kicked the field goal and been a tie game. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then at the end of the game, instead of, with, with three minutes to go, you're running clock. Running clock. I'm like, dude, first of all, you don't have the lead. You're down 23-20. And then you go for it on fourth and six instead of kicking the field goal, a 50-yard field goal. And everybody say, Billy Cundiff missed the 32-yard field goal. First of all, Billy Cundiff's career long is like 52 yards. That's first of all. So that means he's hit a 52-yard field goal before. So he would have to show me that he was going to miss that fucking field goal. But second of all, Billy Cundiff is not totally to blame the reason why he missed that 32-yard field goal. If you watch the fucking snap, and I saw it when it happened live, the, the placeholder held the ball at an angle as opposed to holding the ball straight up, like most people do, which made Cundiff have to go underneath the ball, which made him hook it. The placeholder was, was was just as much at fault as that. If you don't believe me, go back and watch it. Go YouTube it. Go do whatever you fucking got to do because I know it's somewhere. Go watch it and mark my words. They even showed the replay. But that's not even the point. The point is it shouldn't have got to that with 30 seconds left. Stop running fucking clock. You're running the clock as if you were up all game playing conservative. And people want to say, man, you hate the Patriots. You out of your fucking mind. Nobody, nobody supported Belichick and, and Brady them more than me. Nobody's won more money than them off them than me. I support them every time they go for them fourth down and run the score up on people and all that shit. I supported all that. Other people was calling American. You assholes just don't understand that I'm in the business of picking. Uh, predicting greatness and not. I picked them to lose this game because it was it's a bad matchup for them. The Ravens are always a bad matchup. Tom Brady didn't have a good game yesterday. They act like it's a, it's a, it's a miracle. He didn't have a good game. He never has a good game to, against the Ravens. The Ravens beat him the last two playoffs. He threw four interceptions in the playoffs last year against the Ravens. Why are you surprised? Ray Lewis and them just ain't playing that. They ain't on that with Tom Brady. They don't let him just pull his dick out on people, on them. That's why I picked the game. I wasn't picking it for Flacco. And Flacco actually didn't even play a bad game. It's this ass hammer John Harbaugh. Which is why I'm glad his brother lost too, so the whole fucking Harbaugh family could be in misery. These fucking people are stupid. You're messing with my reputation as a genius. There you have it. Another episode of Diary of a Mad Sports Fan. If you like the comment, if you didn't, you can go fuck yourself. Peace.